What's up guys, this is Andrew from Tom Goods Media and this is gonna be my first ever vlog style video. And if you find anything cringy, just let me know in the comment section down below. But if you don't, maybe you should consider liking and subscribing to Tom Goods Media to see more of this. If you if you don't like my face, it's it's definitely fine. I'll I'll stop showing my face in front of the video. So anyway. For today, we're gonna be cooking sarsado isda. Now, what sarsado isda is is basically leftover fried fish, and we're gonna be cooking in tomatoes, onions, garlic, and some egg. And it's gonna create this sauce kind of soupy thing. It doesn't sound appetizing right now, but trust me, it's delicious. It's more of like a comfort food, and you can eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, merienda, midnight snack, whatever. It's delicious. Now, stay tuned to the whole video to see how I make it. So. Let's get started. To mix our shadow, as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna need some leftover fried fish, which I clearly don't have. I have here some hasa hasa, also known as short mackerel. Now we're gonna fry this until it's tostado or when it's nice and crispy already. We have to make sure that it's firm because when we cook it with eggs and the tomatoes later, it's gonna absorb the liquid from all that and if the fish is not firm enough, it's gonna break and fall apart. Just get the pan heating with some oil and gently drop the fish away from you to avoid any splatter. Cook this in medium heat until the fish is nice and crispy. While we're waiting, we can prepare the vegetables for that egg soup sauce topping thing I talked to you about earlier. So we're just gonna slice some onions, just julienne them, slice some tomatoes into quarters, and if they're bigger pieces, maybe into six pieces. Then after, just slice some garlic. Now, we're gonna beat three eggs here and just whisk them until the eggs are completely mixed. Back to the fish. Just flip them once and make sure the fish is crispy and firm. Transfer this to a plate and finish cooking the rest of the fish. Once all the fish have been fried, we can start in the sauce. Let's heat up a pan and cook the eggs first. Just whisk them together until we develop curds. Now for the vegetables, just saute them until they're soft. Add the eggs and mix them and make sure to break the eggs while stirring. I've seen recipes where they add the egg in with the vegetables and they create the curds there. I personally prefer this method because I like the texture of the egg when it's a little bit firmer, rather than being all soupy. Add about 1 half cup of water here and mix it up. I added some fish sauce here about 2 teaspoons. After that, I placed the fish on top and then I covered it. Cook this covered for about 5 minutes. Now, my sarchado got a little dry here so I added a half cup of water and just let it boil. Taste for any additional seasoning and your sarchado is done. Time for the taste test. This dish is perfect for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's also perfect because you can use leftover fish here and it might even taste better the next day. It may seem weird to some but this dish is a comfort food for us Filipinos and of course we would eat this with rice. I think fish, eggs, and tomatoes are a perfect pairing together no matter how you cook them. Now you just learned one of the ways you can cook them together. Thanks again for watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, share this video with your friends. This is Andrew from Tom Goods Media signing off.